Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here from AF Math and Engineering. We're going to be doing a video for you today on the center of gravity uh, by the method of integration, okay? So uh, in these types of videos, this is kind of like a strengths one, second year um, statics type of uh, concept where you're given a, a formula or a, a function for a curve on the xy plane and we're asked to find the center of gravity by using integration. Okay, so in this question, we're just going to find y bar. So that's the distance from the x-axis to the centroid of this curve. So the area under the curve or the area bounded by this curve and the x and y axis and we're asked to determine y bar measured from the x axis to the centroid of the area of the triangle so this area here in this triangle we're asked to find so there's just a few steps uh, if you follow them it's not too hard but uh, you know the integration can be tricky depending on the shape that you get maybe you're going to get a curve or some kind of you know something uh, tricky so um, what I've drip, uh, kind of written for you here is the formula for y bar. So we have y bar is equal to uh, the integration of y uh, tilde, okay, dA over integration of dA. I'll, I'll explain what these kind of elements are here. But first, what we need to do is we need to draw um, a couple things on the graph, and then we need to label them, and then you'll start to see kind of which is what is what. So since we're uh, trying to find y bar, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle. Okay, we're going to draw a rectangle okay, in the x direction. Okay, so we're going to essentially draw a strip of the, rect, uh, of the triangle like this, and we're going to label it with a few different items here. Okay, so this distance, so first let's label this point here. Okay, so this is the boundary of the rectangle, okay, between the y-axis and the curve. Okay, and this point, we're going to label it x y okay so it's some arbitrary point that is the boundary between this rectangle and the end of the curve okay and it's located at, at a point x y this distance here okay so the distance okay the vertical distance between the x-axis and this y x y point we're going to call that our y okay so um what, what's the distance from the y-axis to this point well the distance from the y-axis to this point is going to simply be x. Okay, perfect. So we've d uh, kind of defined our point here that we will use uh, in the future. Now, we also need to define kind of the moment arms or the distance to the centroid of this uh, arbitrary rectangle that we've we've assigned. Okay, so um, in this case, uh, when, we're, when we're finding y bar, okay, the distance to the centroid is simply just going to be the same, so y. Um, however, our x is going to be this is going to be simply x over 2. And this point here is our x tilde, y tilde. Okay, So uh, that's this y tilde here. And also, we're given the formula for the curve. So that's uh, h over b times b minus x. OK, perfect. So uh, what do we need to do now? Let's take a look at the formula. Maybe we can start to kind of uh, derive some expressions. So what's the, first, let's take a look at our dA. So our dA, which is our differential area, Okay, is going to be the area of our uh, rectangle. And the thickness of this rectangle here okay, is dy. So we've selected essentially a strip uh, in the x direction with a thickness, uh, differential thickness of y and a, a length of x, essentially. Okay, So this dA term is the area of this differential strip that we've selected. Okay, So like I said, the, the length of that strip is x. Okay. And the thickness of this strip is dy. Okay, perfect. So now we have this dA variable in terms of x dy. Okay, but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to express our expression because we're finding y bar in terms of y. Okay, so this x here, so this dy is good. This is in terms of y. That's perfect. But x is not in terms of y. So what we need to do is we need to take our expression for the line here and we need to determine what it is in terms of x. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, we have y equals h over b times b minus x, okay? And if we go ahead and solve for x here, we can find that we have multiply the b with the other side, divide by h, and that's equal to b minus x, okay? And if we go ahead and we uh, rearrange and we solve for x, um, we can determine that x is simply b over h times h minus y, okay? So uh, essentially our dA term, okay, is, and I'm going to bring it back up here, so dA in, at the end is simply this here. So we have b over h times h minus y times dy. Perfect. So this is our dA term. Okay. 
Very good. Now, what else do we need to find out? Well, uh, we need to find out our y tilde. And as we said before, y tilde is the, uh, the y distance to the centroid of the moment arm of this differential uh, rectangle or strip that we've selected. And in this case, because we're finding y bar, okay, the distance to the centroid here is simply just y. Perfect, because our uh, differential rectangle is in the x direction. Okay, so in this case, we can say that y tilde is equal to y. And what are our bounds here? That's a good question. Well, our bounds, because we're, uh, we're in the direction uh, y here, we're trying to find y bar, our uh, bounds are from zero. So we'll call this zero. And we'll call this entire vertical distance here h, okay? So it's in the direction of y. So when we're finding y bar, we're going to integrate from zero to h of the entire triangle. And if we were doing it in the x direction, we would find it in terms of the, hor the horizontal distance b. But in our case, we're going to do zero to h. So let's go ahead now, and now that we've worked all that out, let's go ahead and let's solve for the, uh, the integration here. So we have y bar, because we have everything we need. So the numerator is simply going to be the integration from zero to h, of y tilde, so that's in our case, that's y, okay? And we have dA, our dA term here is b over h times h minus y dy. And this is gonna be divided simply by um, the integration of a dA, okay? So again, we're going to integrate from zero to h, okay? And we're going to have just our dA term, which is b over h, h minus y dy. And if we go ahead and we work this uh, this expression out, and I'm going to leave that to you. Um, we just kind of like to go through the problem here and uh, show you the steps, but I do like to see that, you know, the viewers are doing these steps on their own, okay? So uh, if we go ahead and we work that out, you should arrive at, for the numerator, you'll have 1 over 6 dh squared, and on the denominator, you're going to have 1 half bh, okay? So as you can see, uh, h's are going to cancel here, b's are going to cancel, okay? Uh, this These h's are going to cancel, and what we're going to be left with is simply h over 3, okay? So the distance uh, from x to the centroid of this triangle, so the centroid of our triangle is somewhere in this region, okay, is this distance to the centroid, y bar is equal to h over 3. And uh, as you can see, this applies to any triangle. As we know, the, the distance of uh, any 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 triangle um, from the, the base of the triangle to the point of the center of gravity is simply h over 3. So we kind of prove that using this method here. Okay, cool. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, I, uh, I know this can get a little bit messy, so I just did with the y bar, but uh, try with the x. Try working out this integral here. Uh, make sure that you kind of, um, you know, you take your time integrate it in terms of y and see if you can get uh, the same thing that I got here. It's good practice. You know, these problems can be tricky on the exam, but if you practice them enough, you should be good to go. As always, guys, if you enjoy this channel, if you're liking the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment down below if you like the video, and stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.